what's up guys it's uh working on a saturday kind of day um obviously we have a ton of projects going on for school systems right now and school systems have to close out by the end of the school year so that means we got to get these projects done because if we don't they're gonna say sorry we have to cancel this then we're out a lot of money so we're working extra hard to get some stuff done right now i'm on my way to um, it's kind of midday Saturday because I kind of had a busy morning at the shop. Um, first of all, I had to laminate some perf and trim it up. And that's for one of the jobs we're going out to now. Um, we're going to West Bladen High School, Dublin Primary School to do a partial install, and Bladenboro Primary School to do a partial install. Uh, first for us this morning, uh, I have had mesh banner material sitting in the shop for many months now and have never done anything with it. So I have that. Uh, it's actually still at the shop, still printing off right now. Uh, got that rolling got some sublimation printing uh, we did printed off 150 tumbler designs and also 250 koozie designs um, The tumbler project is gonna be a doozy because uh, the tumblers don't get here till Monday. The client is picking them up Monday at 4.30. I also have an extra tumbler press that's coming, a second one coming Monday as well. So hopefully Amazon comes through for me and we'll, we'll be able to get that project knocked out. In the previous day's video, you saw that we were running a test on some white acrylic boards for a backlit sign on the flatbed. And we were testing doing an overprint color, which we typically do for backlit stuff. Um, however, um, we did 32 passes to really give the UV ink a chance to cure really well. And regardless, the overprint started cracking. A particular color, the black color, just started cracking and peeled right off the board. All of it. And so, uh, but the, the, the regular print was just fine. It was cured nice and hard. So overprint with the flatbed, little suspect. So I really, um, not sure what to think about that, but I'm glad I tested out that sign first on a smaller piece of material before I wasted my time doing that. Um, so today I printed two six foot by four foot acrylic signs for Crown Barbecue. Here's what that looks like. Also, here's some really colorful coral plast signs that we're doing. Of these seed packs they're going at a amusement park that has a large field of sunflowers and other flowers so very vibrant colors take a look headed into the great town of Bladenboro here's Bladenboro city limits there's the primary school over there that we're going to be doing some stuff at today, hopefully, if we can get to it. And you can see some of the work that we've done over here at Bladenboro Middle School. There it is back there. See some of that perf. We're going to try to start farther out, work our way back. So we're headed to the town of Dublin, which is home of the North Carolina Peanut Festival which is also home to Houston's Peanuts. You might think Houston's Peanuts is based out of Texas, but nope. 
based out of Dublin, North Carolina. And Houston's Peanuts is known for being the official peanut of Major League Baseball. So they're in, in baseball parks all over the country. I should have took footage of the beautiful homes in Bladenboro. There's some beautiful ones back there, but here's a look at the downtown. Quaint little tiny, tiny, tiny downtown. Done with our partial install at Dublin Primary. Here's a little footage of that. And now I'm here at West Bladen High School again, here to finish some of their outside work. We still have some left to do on the inside as well. It's a little freaky being at a high school alone on a Saturday, but then again, I have a friend. In the background back there is a photographer taking pictures of the graduate. So one of the benefits of Perf at a school is you see a lot of people using it as a backdrop for photos, especially at graduation time. I have all of these lobby windows all done now. Now inside here, I just have to do this grid of nine windows and these right here. So now we done. always print off little mock-ups of the print job so that we know exactly how to line everything up because it gets really tricky, especially when there's specific backgrounds and triangles and things that you have to line up. Sometimes it's really obvious, sometimes it's not so much. Done. Now I just gotta lay these. 7.40 p.m. Saturday night. I'm done. Time to go home. Well, I got two of the three schools done. I will take it. I appreciate you guys tuning in today, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.